Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I've made quite a lot of videos on Poland handbags since around 2022 and I'm gonna link the playlist to you guys here. And maybe you have heard Poland just had another price increase just earlier this month. Last year's price increase, so the one that happened in 2023, didn't really bother me because I think after the price increases with the new prices, overall the bags were still very fairly priced but that's not necessarily the case this time. And today I would like to share my thoughts, my opinions, whether it's still worth it to buy pollen handbags with their current prices in 2024 and this is not only based on uh, my experience purchasing pollen handbags for my personal use but also for other people yes i've been reselling pollen handbags basically and i have easily handle at the very least around 150 pollen handbags so if you're like me someone who already have your own pollen collection but still thinking whether you should expand your collection or not or especially if you're still looking to purchase your first pollen handbag hopefully you guys would find today's video helpful start with why wallet handbags are no longer worth it number one the experience is lacking in terms of like the whole presentation when you buy a pollen handbag. So if you guys already know, last year in the middle of 2023, Poland had basically a rebranding. They changed their logo, they changed their font, and also the appearance of their website. And they also changed the uh, design, the material, and appearance of their, both of their dust bag and their box. And a lot of people used to praise Poland for having even a better presentation than a lot of luxury brands. And when you buy a Poland handbag, uh, you would get this beautiful box that has a bit of a sheen to it and it's personalized on the lid. The name of the design will be written on it. Along with that, people also praised Poland dust bag and I have to agree, it's very beautiful, it feels very lush thick, velvety, just feels very luxurious and very well made. And one of my favorite of Poland's old presentation was one of these cute, I don't know, flyers, postcards with the different models with different handbags on them. I think it just gave a nice little touch, you know, it adds a little bit more to the whole experience the whole unboxing process. I remember I would be looking forward to which postcard with which model and which bag that I would receive. And now or after the whole rebranding, I think the experience is no longer as good. First, the material of the box has changed. Now they're using like a recycled paper type of material for the box that is very prone to Brackage. And so far, the new boxes that I have received, I don't think I have ever received a flawless one. They always come with minor or major damage. And I never experienced this with the old box. And apart from that, Poland is no longer giving out the cute postcards. The only thing that I like about Poland's packaging after the rebranding is the dust bag. Now, that lush velvety um, material that used to be on the outer part of the dust bag, now it's inside, so the part that is touching the bag. So even though from the outside, the dust bag feels a bit rough, a bit textured, not necessarily rough, but just textured, it's okay because I prefer that lush, soft, thick material to be the one touching my bag. My point is, in terms of packaging, why are we paying more for less satisfying experience? Reason number two, and for me, this is one of my main concerns with pollen handbags since I started purchasing them, is random quality issues. Every now and then, I would receive a defective pollen handbag from a minor damage to like totally damaged bag. I'm gonna show you one of the example if I still can find a big one. one of the very first Poland handbags that I've ever purchased is a regular size Nuff in beige color. And when I received it, I was so shocked because like how could somebody at Poland could send out this bag as a brand new bag to customer? One of the corners was already 
worn. It was basically damaged. And there were these weird white and green marks all over the strap. And one of the most uh, recent damage back that I received is just like a couple months ago. So I have to say, I'm experiencing this quality issues less and less now, but less it doesn't mean zero. And there was no way, I mean, it was an order from a customer and there was no way I was sending that bag back to Paris. So fortunately, I could repair that bag. I sent it to this bag repair workshop and fortunately, it didn't really cost a lot of money as well. So I'm very pleased about that. But still, this is a recent purchase and that bag was literally damaged. So those are some of the most extreme cases. The minor issues that I experience quite a lot is with the glazing. Sometimes they just look a bit, a bit faulty, like just didn't look well done but i also want to say this type of quality issue do not come just from poland here on youtube you can easily find horror stories about the effective louis vuitton bag or even chanel bag with a floppy flap somehow this expensive bag seems to be having more issues the higher their prices get and reason number three why polar handbags might not be worth it anymore is simply because the prices at least for me they start to feel pretty high now again like i said earlier last year after the price increase overall the prices still seem very very good for example the Uneno and Berry, they're still priced at 290 euro. They're under 300 euro. What you get with what you pay, it's still very worth it. But now, the Uneno is priced at 340 euros. The Berry at 350 euros. A lot of Polan fans used to buy, used to expand their Polan collection without thinking twice you know now some of the bags just start to feel pretty expensive for example for me personally even with um, my Poland collection I already have quite a lot of Poland bags but I still had like couple of items on my wish list but honestly now after the recent price increase I have basically lost interest to purchase them like okay I think I'm happy with the ones with Poland handbags that I already own and speaking of Poland's prices the other day so like last year i watched this podcast session by tanner leatherstein with two women from poland and they said they explained there why poland never had any sales they never did any sale events because they wanted to keep uh, the prices of their bags affordable all year long and they managed to do that all these years by doing business straight with the artisans so they do not have to deal with extra costs by having a lot of middlemen. After at least a couple of price increases that I have experienced, that's no longer the case. Maybe Poland should start doing sales if they do not want to lose customers. And the last reason why Poland bags might not be worth it anymore is because of the out of stock bags. I remember after the last year's price increase, uh, this one girl left a comment on Poland's Instagram like why are you having price increase on bags that we cannot even purchase they're on pre-orders for like couple of months as long as couple of months we have to wait longer but still we need to pay more and you know what that makes sense so now let's end the video on a more positive note why I think Poland handbags are still worth it with their current prices. First, and in my opinion this is uh, a big reason, is because their quality seems to be better now. Poland's leathers actually feel better. They feel more supple, they feel more buttery, and not only just for some designs or some type of leather in particular, but in general. Their textured leather, like the one on Unano, they feel not as plasticky as before. I'm not saying that it was very plasticky like Safiano, but now it just feels even nicer to the touch. And the second reason being Poland's unique designs. I think, for example, like with the Sim and Sim Mini, it's such a breath of fresh air in terms of design. A lot of brands, whether affordable or luxury brands, they always come out with, you know, the same type of tote bags. Square, 
boring tote bags, whether it's vertical or horizontal. But Poilin has the sim, and the sim mini that, in my opinion, is very, very beautiful. The sim mini now is very popular. It's often out of stock, but I can see why it's popular. It's spacious, it's beautiful. I already have a quite an in-depth review of the sim mini that I'm gonna link right here. And also the disc, I'm a fan of the disc. It's not just another saddle style bag. Uh, the whole thing with the excess strap and also like the knots on the, the straps, I think they made the bag very unique, different, but at the same time still very uh, timeless, classic, and minimalist. So now that the leather feels nicer with the fresh designs that Bolin is doing, all of the bags are still under 500 euros. I think that's enough reason to say that Bolin handbags are so worth it. Especially if you are still looking to purchase your first Bolin handbag, you better purchase it now for another price increase. But for you guys who are like me, maybe you already own your Polen collection, you might have a different opinion. Because like I said, I have completely lost interest, at least for now, to expand my Polen collection and I would rather get a new bag or something from other brands. Brands that are also making great, affordable bags. To name a few, there are Strathberry, Fleuron, and my favorite so far is Atelier August, and they are doing sales. So those are my opinions about Poland handbags with the recent price increase. I hope you guys could take a thing or two out of it to help you with your decision before getting or not getting a new pollen handbag. I would like to hear from you. Would you still buy your first pollen handbag or not? If you already have a pollen collection like me, would you still expand your pollen collection with the current prices? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! -bye.